Here's some of the coolest tech products I've seen at CES 2026. So tell me about the, the barista. Uh, so Adam is uh, not just a barista, he was the world's first AI interactive robot. Um, we have him in a barista setup. He can also be in a, a bartender setup. Boba tea, uh, we've also had requests for like burger flipping, those sorts of things. Okay. So any sort of front of house real world application that you might want an AI interactive robot for, yeah. um, he was he was designed for that. To take the grunt work yeah, to out take of the, the grunt, picture. Yeah. Right? And, and mostly actually the real reason is that uh, Rich Tech is a company, we wanted to figure out how to get people really interacting with robots. The world is clearly going towards robotics being in our everyday lives, but my best these... friend is a robot. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. There's actually a book called that, right? Um, and how do we get people to actually start feeling comfortable interacting with robots? And the best way of doing it is to give them a coffee or a cocktail or a drink or something, so that people can go up, have that conversation with the robot, interact with it, get something out of it, and walk away feeling good and feeling like comfortable about that interaction. Yeah. So Adam is done. He takes the cup and uh, swings it around. Oh, so, okay, so it, did it call forth the yeah, server yeah, tray? Called, like, so oh, Adam did, yeah. the robot did. Yeah, so all part of the ROI integration. What? Uh, when it was ready to do it, called the robot back to, to come collect it. Oh, no way. You can rent these out for weddings, for for like any sort of event. Trade shows, obviously, we do quite a lot of trade shows with uh, the coffee set up with Adam. Tell me about the Scorpion. So Scorpion, uh, it, it started off as a sort of one-armed version of Adam. Yeah. But realistically, if you wanted to create other applications for him, so he does have the camera on the front, uh, so you can see around in this setup, we have him set up uh, for the camera to be following around. So say you're, you know, you're at a trade show doing uh, your content. A and YouTuber, you want him, yes. Yeah, you want, him to, <laughs> you want him to follow you along. So he can follow you every, I'm not trying to take you out of a job or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But you can take, to follow you around and he's got the sensor and you can just follow you around filming and taking photos at any time. Okay, and then this guy back here, what do we got? So this is Dex. He's a combination of essentially of the bases of these robots with the dexterity in the arms of the other robots. We haven't pigeonholed him into a specific use case. Uh, like we have, for example, Adam for doing copies and that sort of stuff. Because yeah. we, want, we want people to be able to bring use cases to us and say, can it do this? Yeah. And we try and figure out. And then you figure it. out, okay. Yeah. So it's really kind of a different uh, feeling. It's different applications. This one's the next generation of uh, robotics. This is where we're going. Well, cool, man. I appreciate it. Pleasure. Yeah, Great to you. meet you. Yeah. Wearable tech is getting pretty hot nowadays. This is a company from ULS Robotics. Man, that is monstrous. Look at the battery packs on that. So essentially what this is going to do, it's going to help you bend your knee, like climbing stairs, walking, like to stay active in the outdoors. As you're walking, it's going to give you a little boost. Okay. So it's more for your lower back? Yes, yeah, power from the low back. Oh, okay. And then this one, the white one is for your knees, right? Yeah, for the walking. So that's knees, that's power back. Okay. Pretty crazy. All right, we got, uh, what's your name? Sophie. Sophie, and this is, you're with? Hypershell. Okay, and this is wearable, you call it wearable tech? Wearable exoskeleton, okay. the 3X Ultra we have here for about 2,000 US dollars, and is available on Amazon, Hypershell's website, helps your mobility, has a few different modes, so one of them is the everyday one, the eco one, and then the other one is hyper mode, so any intense exercise that you're doing, and then it also does resistance training, so if you're looking for more fitness elements, you can do that. Where does the help come from? So the help comes from the two motors on the, either side. So it's the motor moves up and down, kind of goes straight. Um, it doesn't work if you go to the side, but you still have that range of motion if you're wearing it. And then it doesn't work if you're swinging backwards, but like forward. So up and down, kind of like Pinocchio, like a string is attached yeah. to your knees. It makes it easier. Okay, how heavy is it? So it's about four pounds, just under four pounds. So is this gonna be used for just somebody who wants a little help hiking, or is mm -hmm. this somebody who has like a condition where they just can't get up the stairs? Yeah, so it's not really a medical device. You need to be able to walk to begin with, kind of like an e-bike, an analog bike. You need to be able to bike, to begin with, um, but you know, it can help lift your leg a lot easier and use less impact and pressure on your body and your joints overall after a long day at CES. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Could I have one? Yeah. The rest of the day? This, okay, I'm standing in front of the most tech rich, AI smart, everyday vehicle. This is the uh, EV1. I got Dr. Tony Hong here. He's the creator of this. All right, man, tell me about this thing. It's, it's just going on its own, so I'm, I'm curious. What do we got? Yeah, it it's basically is a machine that is made for people who wants to have certain kind of a mobility. So the traditional like 
wheelchairs or like mobility aids are designed for like really moving only at certain directions or certain locations. They have trouble like uh, you know handling all kinds of terrains. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. There's 20 different sensors around this chair, and I'm going to show you what those sensors do and how they make this just pretty awesome. Oh, that's 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 nice. Oh. Just wake me up in like 20 minutes. I'm just gonna take a little snoozy here, okay? <laughs> We're on co-pilot mode. And this is a uh, real-time LiDAR, right? Is That's that what right. It is? Real time so, point cloud. So actually, Matt, if you just kick your foot out here a little bit or move around, so you're like right in here. There, this piece here is this wall. So, and then all these other things moving around are people walking back and forth. On this mode, it, it, it try to slow down or stop before an obstacle. So for example, try, try so not pushing towards my, me. I'm gonna run you over though. Full, full blast? Yeah, just come to me. Come on, and, and come on. me. Okay, so, I got, I'm still on the throttle and it stops because it sees him, stops about a foot before. So that basically prevents you from running into anybody. Yeah, and then once I leave, then you can push. So if, he's out, if he's out of the way, I do this and we're off. Wow, okay. okay. Let me still demonstrate uh, another thing on the cold pilot mode yeah so if you pull backward so if i pull back there so i'm right. standing behind ready you, here we go and you can keep pushing and it sees me and it stops and it stops what if i want to hit somebody oh turn the manual mode <laughs> <laughs> so you, you do have manual mode and then yeah. all right matt here i come i'm coming for no, you no 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 oh and actually this is buzzing now it vibrates yeah yeah it vibrates it tells you like you're gonna there. get close yeah, there. Gonna get it won't closer. stop you, but it does notify you that you're gonna hit something. That's right. So let's switch back to the co-pilot mode. Oh, back to co-pilot. <laughs> There's a button right here, and this entered. Uh, it goes into co-pilot plus mode. This mode basically corrects your steering a little bit if there's any obstacle along the way. Yeah. It still honors your direction. It's a, a little, little nudge you, left and right to get around the obstacle. According to the obstacles. Wow. Yeah. That's, so, that's pretty awesome. So these these two are the co-pilot modes. So on the autopilot that you don't have to drive with the joystick anymore, um, but uh, autopilot mode. Okay. Yeah. So if, for example, we want to go to that fence, and then we can just locate the point, and we long press it, and it's, we will start to calculate the route. Oh, goodbye, Matthew. And then it sees people. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Take me. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't move. Don't move. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna gander up. <laughs> better put my feet down. What? I, I, look at that. That's crazy. What? Pardon me. I'll put the brakes on. It stops when you have obstacles, you have people. Oh, so. that's crazy. You have to get this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I try to get around. And here I am. Yeah, you are. Uh, we're at the left row booth. We got Lucas here. And uh, you're going to tell us about some of the latest things for 2026. Sure. So. It up. And don't forget to subscribe to the Electric, Electric Revolution. It's such a good channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the Pro channel. is right. also. So, hope, hope we can see you guys in the next three years. All right? Yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. How do you wall mount TVs today? Right? It's, it's a very cumbersome process. You have to hire a handyman. So, we invented a new uh, technology called suction technology. So the TV has built-in suction cups on the back. Suction cups. Suction cups. Okay. Like they have, there are four yeah. suction cups that are actively controlled by the TV. And you could literally pick up the TV, attach to any surface, drywall, painted wall, even glass. We are the only TV that can be attached to a glass under 10 seconds. Under 10 seconds. Under 10 can seconds. Can you demonstrate that? Yes. Check that out. Oh, so you also have a level built in. Oh, oh, it has an automatic level there. Automatic level, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you may safely. Oh, so that's the suction that's cup. Yep, that's the suction, suction, suction cup pressure. How much does that weigh? Like, could my wife do that, or would you? I mean, it looks like it'd be easier to do two yeah. people. Like, what well, does that I weigh? Well, I mean, it depends. Like, no, I'm, I'm not that, that strong, but I, I can easily lift. <laughs> Come on, man, you're benching at least 300. For whatever reason, an earthquake happens and it's starting to get loose. Is it going to warn you or tell you? Okay, that it's that's what the safest wall-mounted TV 
we claim our TV is the safest wall-mounted TV, and you see that the, if anything goes wrong, it lowers itself. It lowers itself? Yep. How does it lower itself? So we have a, a technology called landing gear technology. <laughs> what the crap? The suction cup, you see, it will stay on the wall. If it detects anything like earthquake or crack on the wall, or even let's say you went on vacation and then you forgot to charge, it low, it low on battery, it will know and then it will detach itself from the suction cup and then it will zip line yeah. to the it's, ground. What? How long is the zip line? Like what is uh, it? it? We have 10 feet. 10, okay, so nobody's gonna mount their TV more than 10 feet. Yeah, yeah. These speakers are also battery banks, right? Exactly, right. Yeah. And you guys sell them as well? Yeah. Okay, and yeah. then extends the battery life up to how many hours? Up to 100 hours. 100 hours? Yeah. And then how long does it take to charge just the battery banks? So all together? Or all together? Uh, probably overnight. Overnight. Yeah, but just internal batteries like two, two hours. The whole idea uh, behind uh, this place is we want to see a world where we are all surrounded by multiple smart screens on the wall. The content that you access should be the entire web, not just video content. Like so this is like a big computer then? It's a big computer a on the wall, exactly. So for that to work, we need to bring a computer-like experience. Oh, look at that. That's, that's, what, that's why we introduced a trackpad. And it is also going to be a second screen experience for you. We are going to be bringing content here, uh, relevant to what you're watching. Imagine you're watching a game, it'll bring scores, and it'll bring all the profiles and all the stuff. Over here, and then we also have like scroll bars. You can see scrolls here. Well, right on. This year we are launching three new products. One is called this place Hub. So we introduced this. We got a lot of traction. People love it. Uh, but based on the vision that I was painting, uh, where we want to see this kind of a smart screen everywhere, we wanted to bring our technology, suction technology, wireless technology, our operating system to any screen. It has everything that this place TV has except the screen. And it has a wall mounting clamp that is built into it. So this is still suction cup, but you just added this so you can mount your regular TV exactly, right onto here. this one. It can get power from this. So you don't have to think about like power ports and all this stuff. Oh. So it's completely wireless. Well, that's cool. So you just plug your old TV into the power bank, which is right here. Yeah, exactly. Right. So this is This screens. is the displaced wall yeah. we're introducing. Traditionally, if you, if you think, uh, look at the video wall uh, installation, like trade show companies and all stuff, they spend hours to install a, a 110 inch video wall. It's, it's, it's going to be easily like 10 to 12 hours with five people uh, because you have to drill holes, you have to level them, you have to mm -hmm. uh, connect the controllers, wires, and then you have to build fake walls, all this stuff, right? So um, we wanted to change that. With our displaced wall, you can install a 110 inch TV under half an hour. Uh, and it's all completely wireless as well. And then this is the latest, oh, yeah, yeah. this is the next gen uh, displaced Pro TV. This is an AI native TV. So we are actually having AI chips built into the TV. Played a clip from Dumb and Dumber called, We're Going to Aspen. I didn't say that right, we'll see if it gets it. We'll see. Aspen it is. <laughs> so this is obviously more than a TV, this is a This computer, is a computer, computer TV. Exactly, so now, now you could say, while it is playing, you could ask something relevant to the same movie or Jim Carrey or whatever. So go for it. So what if I want to pause this video, right? Okay. Uh, you want to go get a cup of coffee? Yeah. You don't want to actually search for remote control. That's it. Okay. It's, oh, it's just pause. Just yeah. look at that, Matt, if you would. So he raised his hand and it paused the TV. So how do you make it play again? That's and it. And it plays. Anything else it can do? Uh, Any other? So we'll show the demo because what if you want to actually bring this content onto this TV? So I'll grab it. Grabbed it. I'll come here. Oh, I can already see it's 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 tracked because the it says Deep Ocean 4K. Okay. Yeah, that's like uh, that one movie with Tom Cruise where he's just like doing minority things. Report, yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. That's the Freaking inspiration, me. by the way. <laughs> we got Minority Report right here. All right, man. I appreciate it. Thanks cool. for the demo. All right. Thank you. That's Thanks awesome. for stopping.